Finally, a supermassive black hole has left a trail of stars 200,000 light years long. What does that mean? What can you tell me? So this supermassive black hole, instead of really being in the center of a galaxy, was found actually more by itself, with not a lot of galaxies around it. Now, generally, when we find supermassive black holes, they're embedded in the galaxy, and we st see stars and gas, like the animation you were just seeing, fall into the black hole. But these black holes do move, they, uh, they, they do orbit a little bit, and if they're not contained into a galaxy, they can move or spread across space. And what you're seeing is as, as this galaxy clump has kind of moved at that top right corner of that box, stars have essentially been spat out of it, leaving this trail of debris behind. So as these galaxies were forming, they were colliding and moving through it. But the black holes, as the star started to being swallowed by the black hole, the black hole essentially got spatted out and spatted out over a huge range as these galaxies evolved. So this is a really important part of understanding how galaxies come to be, because we think small galaxies come to be big ones, and we think eventually those supermassive black holes run to each other to form even bigger ones. So seeing kind of the consequence and trail of debris, so to speak, that this black hole leaves is a very big piece of understanding how just big, big, big black holes get to the sizes they are.